everyone and welcome to AG Africa. Today I'm excited because I'm going to be doing um like answering slash debunking um like your thoughts, questions, and assumptions about what it's like to actually live in Africa. So let's get started. Okay so the first thing I did this I asked a question on my um what's it called my Instagram. So the first couple questions come from AG OG spoiled Dolly fam, thank you so much for responding. I appreciate the question. And it says, would people from poor villages come to beg for food? So, um, I wouldn't necessarily say they came from the villages, but definitely people in the city would line, like, the main highways. And when you're in traffic, they would come up to you. Especially, like, people in wheelchairs. Like, kids or like would push people in wheelchairs for, like, extra sympathy. And then I know, like kids would like lead their blind grandfathers and stuff like that so i would definitely say that's true but not necessarily coming from the villages and another thing is that they never really wanted food they always wanted money um i remember like we would try and give them money because we wanted to make sure that the and we'd always try and give them food because we didn't want to make sure that the money wasn't spent on something bad but they usually just wanted it and oh to specify um, I lived in Nairobi, Kenya, um, and I wasn't born in Kenya. I was born in New York State, and then we moved there when I was four. For, well, we moved to Mozambique, and then we moved to Kenya, and now we are back. And while I lived there, so when I lived in Mozambique, I lived in, no, sorry, it says what kind of school did you go to? I went to an international school and I really enjoyed it there. Um, it, it was a private school, but I wouldn't necessarily, it's not like here where like private school means you're like super rich. Um, not necessarily that you are rich, but like where it was much more expensive. It's more of like the public school level there was really, really bad. Um, it's not, yeah, it's like, so in public school, there's like the kids have, n have never seen a pencil, so I wouldn't go to somewhere like that. Not okay. It sounds like I'm trying to make myself sound like I'm better than, but anyway, I'm just trying to say that like the public schools there were really bad. So I would say that like private school there was like about public school in New York. So yeah, um, and so my first school I went to was an American international school, so we followed the American curriculum. And then, um, yeah, we followed the American curriculum, and I never had a uniform. And then the next question comes from AG Hedgehog Lover. Um, how did you find out about American Girl Balls? So um, it actually came up in like January, so about like five or six years, I would say six years from this January they're talking about like just collectors because I didn't understand what a collector like an adult collector was so we were talking about it and then my mom was like bringing up like expensive dolls and then American Girl came up and so then I like ran and I searched it up and then I was like oh my gosh and then I remember I would go on the computer every day um looking at the American Girl doll that I was going to get, which was number 58 before I got her. So that's how I found out about it. Next question is, what is it like um, seeing America when you live in Kenya? So I, I was born here and like I come to visit my grandparents every summer. So it's not like a complete shock, like it's not like I've never been. Um, but it's definitely really strange because um, well, it's just very different because I, I don't know how to describe it to people, but there's a sense in Kenya like anything could happen. I'm just gonna... Okay, also guys, if you could like help me out, Kirsten's bangs are just a little... There's like, I can't get them to lay flat perfectly and I don't know what the fix is for that. It's kind of annoying, but that's not really relevant. Um, so... Basically, right, back to the question. So it's also just kind of like everything's very different because like in Kenya, well, there might be like a dirt road and there's loads of potholes because when it rains, the dirt just turns into mud. Here, all the roads are paved. So it's kind of just like polar opposites. 
and the one thing that I do want to differ differentiate between is that like in Kenya it's not like there isn't anything like we lived in a house like we lived in a nice house like it's bigger especially like it's it was a, on the bigger side to be honest but I mean I don't know it's bigger because when you think about if the average person in Kenya is making like okay I'm not 100% sure but it's probably like $50 a month or less if you're making even minimum wage in the United States like you're gonna look like really rich compared to them so like your quality of life can be increased and um, I think that's it's also just kind of like the way everything is it's just everyone has a very different mindset here and the way people think is just very different and I think there's also a lot of things that they have here that you don't have in Kenya like just like fast food chains or like some kinds of foods that you can't get so it's like being here I tend to get very chubby that's that's like my complete honest answer because like if you can not get good high quality ice cream like unless you're here like when I'm here I'll eat all the ice cream because then you don't really get any and then also there's like this sense of like everything is everyone's treated differently and I feel like in America it's funny because the default is that you're like will live in America and you're from here and whereas when you're there especially from the people in my community the default is you could be from anywhere we don't make any assumptions so it's kind of weird like here like I have to be like oh well I'm not actually blah 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 whereas there it's like not as much and I feel like we're all kind of thinking the same way because rather than all being tied to like one house that you've lived in your whole life or one country we're all like third culture children so we all aren't tied necessarily to a specific thing so we're just tied to each other I think that's also really right let me just clarify something quickly um so i'm not trying to say that like everyone here makes assumptions and stuff but i would say that if i were to tell someone in america that i live in kenya or i don't live like in the area it'll definitely be a lot more shocking than if i told someone in kenya that i lived in kenya okay well obviously but, like, if you know what I'm trying to say, I'm sorry. It's not very clear, and it doesn't make a lot of sense, but, yeah. Special. Then the next one is, how long does it take for a doll to arrive? So, I've never shipped a doll to Kenya. Um, I know that on eBay, I had this issue where it would say, does not ship to Kenya. Like, some sellers wouldn't ship, because it would be international. When I get a doll, I, um send it to my grandparents house who live in New York state um so in the country and then I could get it from there and yeah okay so um some other things all right so sorry guys I'm like looking at my phone while I do this so if I'm like kind of distracted that's why so not, oh not like looking at my phone like that's where my questions and stuff are sorry that wasn't clear Okay, so in Kenya, where I live, I can't really talk for, like, everywhere else because something that kind of annoys me, and I'm not, like, if you do this, I'm not going to be like, oh, I don't like you anymore, but, I mean, people have a tendency to say, like, Africa and, like, clump all the countries together, but it's 54 countries, like, you know what I'm saying? You can't really clump those together, you know what I'm saying? So that's just one thing. Okay, so in Kenya specifically, there were 44 official languages, and I know that sounds like a lot, but the two main languages really that were spoken were English and Swahili, and um, link down below will be my video where I just give you some like introductory phrases in Swahili, which is so much fun. Um, I recommend it. Also, if you ever heard me say Jumbo or Karifu or Kwaheri, those are all just like greetings of welcome and goodbye, which I say sometimes at the beginning and end of my videos. Um, so the reason that there are 44 languages is because additional, in addition to Swahili and English, which is what is really only spoken, 
they also have to make all the tribal um, languages official and there are 42 different ethnic groups so they had to make all those official languages but they aren't really used in practice and i also know well i don't know as much because i don't remember my time living there as much um in mozambique they speak portuguese mainly because they were colonized by portuguese um also um kenya speaks english because they were conquered by the british and they're still a pretty heavy influence okay what was the weather like so the weather it's a bit flipped because while maybe well when it's winter here like right now it's summer over there so the um it's flipped because we are on the equator and then it's also in kenya the weather is actually perfect so most of the countries it can be sweltering hot but kenya's really high altitude which is also why the runners are so good because they have they use high altitude training, not on purpose, but just because Kenya is generally high altitude. So when they go other places, it's like um, they are giving given extra oxygen. And so because it's high altitude, it's usually like the perfect weather. Okay, and I think that's all the questions. So I just want to end with like, finally, I really think that um, Africa as a whole I know I said don't like refer to all of it, but like it's really, it's not talked about enough. It's really generalized, I think. I mean, people will say places, they'll say Africa and India as if they're both like countries or something, but that doesn't really make sense. And I understand that a lot of people probably don't have education on all of the countries and that's perfectly fine. I wouldn't expect them to. But I think that we can all try and be a little more educated and try and learn as much as we can. So like I said, I will link the video with Swahili down below. And I also have another video of funny things that people have said to me when I come to the US. So that's one other thing about coming here. People are like, wait, what? You're from Kenya? And they'll say silly things sometimes to me and it's all right. And if you've said any of those things, I don't really, take it to offense. So it's all right. And I'll link that video also down below. And then finally, if you're looking at Kirsten's shirt, I made this and her scrunchie in a video that I will also link down below. So yeah, and that's it. So if you guys want me to do another video like this, please comment down below questions you might have for another one. I really love reading your comments, guys. For everyone who does, it means so much to me. Um, I kind of, I'm debating if I should do shout outs. Would you guys like shout outs? Just let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, bye. Love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.